one. Lady Bulldogs controlling the opening tip. Harris getting it into the backcourt and uh, Tracy Waits who didn't start the ball game but uh, she's been in there most of the way in the first half now controlling. Lisa O'Connor gets it inside to Katrina McLean and Katrina who started off so hot in the uh, second half of the semifinal game against Western Kentucky misses her first try. She hit her first four that night starting the second half. Wound up with 25 points. Nice pass inside and Old Dominion comes back to take the lead on Adrian Goodson's bucket. You got the feeling as the first half came to an end that the momentum had switched in Old Dominion's favor. Frank, I think we're seeing some junk defense here as they leave Lisa O'Connor open on the baseline. O'Connor fails to hit. Now, what do you mean by junk defense? Well, when we talk about Coach Stanley's defense, she calls it her junk defense, where a lot of times they'll have some players in a zone, some players in a matchup situation or a man-to-man -man situation. Operating with three fouls on her, Medina Dixon, the All-American from Old Dominion. Nice pass inside. Goodson gets the shot up. It fails. The follow doesn't go by Tracy Claxton, but she stays after it. Well, she does. She just works the offensive boards. That's all you can say. She's a great offensive rebounder. Old Dominion has moved out to its biggest lead of the ball game at just three points, 34 to 31. But keep in mind, they trail by nine with about five minutes to go in the half. Lisa O'Connor knocks that one down from the corner. It's her first basket of the game. How about adjustments in general on both sides? Well, Georgia starting out again with their man-to-man -man or player-to-player -player defense. Old Dominion's changed. They went away from their man-to-man. -man. They're playing some zone. I'll have to look at this again, Frank, to know exactly what they are playing. Dixon penetrating inside, taking the pass from Claxton, and Medina Dixon gets her fifth basket of the game. Medina comes from a very athletic family. Her brother is uh, Zachary Dixon, the defensive uh, back with the uh, Seattle Seahawks. Teresa Edwards has it rim out on her from 17 feet. 36-33 ODU. ODU running this time around down to Jenkins. Jenkins getting the shot away. Goodson with the follow does not go. Old Dominion staying after it on the offensive boards. Well, they keep the ball alive so well. I think it's a great individual effort out there this afternoon on the part of Old Dominion on the board. Well, they were cold in the first half. It was the rebounding that saved them. The foul will be on Katrina McLean. That's her second. We take a look at the first half statistics here. You saw the field goal percentage. ODU getting a lot more shots away in that first half. And Old Dominion with a big advantage in the rebound department. We've got a timeout here in Austin to this game. He certainly does, and he's done a great job promoting women's basketball. Well, the committee members have done a great job in putting this show together for the fourth time under NCAA sponsorship. Old Dominion playing with a lot more confidence, it seems, Pat. Well, they came out in the second half, and I thought they definitely had a lot of confidence and a lot of momentum. ODU turns it over. And Georgia, which led throughout the first half, now finds itself down by three, 36-33. They go to Katrina McLean. She is short with the jumper. And ODU continuing its dominance on the boards. Pushes it down to Adrian Goodson. Christian with the miss. Harris with the rebound down to Teresa Edwards. Edwards trying to fly in for the layup. Ball is still in play. And Edwards had the shot blocked on her. Got it back and put it up and in. Good quick Alec there by Janet Harris. As Teresa Edwards sometimes will do, she'll release for the fast break as soon as the shot goes up. That makes it a one-point game, 36-35. The Lady Monarchs in front. Medina Dixon again operating with three personal fouls. Shoving the pass underneath to Goodson. Goodson missing the shot. We get a whistle and a foul. Well, let's go back here. This play by uh, Teresa Edwards. Well, I think Janet Harris spotted her early. They have played together. You can see this. Great teamwork. Quick outlet pass. And Teresa can get down the floor as quickly as any guard I've seen. I think she's one of the quickest in the country. That foul was on Katrina McLean of Georgia, and that is her third. Bridget Jenkins tosses it out to Marie Christian. 15 minutes, 50 seconds remaining. There's Jenkins. As we said, good outside shooter, a real zone buster. Now she played well in, in the tournament here in this final four. 
38-35. ODU trying to assume command here in the second half. Harris from the corner misses the 20-footer. Smallest player in the court right now. Christian coming up with the rebound and takes it down court. Well, it was interesting. Christian was in the lane that time because they're not putting any defensive pressure on Amanda Abrams. Number 11 working on number 11. In this case, the foul will be on Amanda Abrams of Georgia. And here comes Tracy Waits into the game for Georgia. So you know the tempo is going to pick up a little. Well, you know the tempo is going to pick up, but I think Coach Landers makes this change here for the outside scoring threat that Tracy Waits can be for this Georgia club. Two players on the Lady Bulldogs now with three fouls. And Dixon with three for Old Dominion. That is three team fouls on Georgia. And Old Dominion does not have a single team foul here in the second half, and that could prove to be a factor a little bit later on. Well, it could, and I, I think Lisa O'Connor is very valuable to this Georgia club. I don't think they can afford to lose her. Turn around by Dixon, hangs on the rim, will not fall. Lisa O'Connor gets the long rebound down to Teresa Edwards, loses it, gets it back, and scores. <laughs> Teresa Edwards, the All-American now with 11 points for the Lady Bulldogs, and we're back to a one-point game. ODU with the advantage. We're back to a one-point game. We see Georgia go there 1-3-1, Frank. I think that they want to put a lot of pressure on the ball. Old Dominion had trouble with it in the first half. Goodson missing the jump shot for ODU. Claxton trying to grab the rebound. It's loose. Waits comes up with it. Squeezes between two players. Tracy Waits, pull-up jumper from 15. Got it. That's something Tracy Waits does a good job of, I think, taking the ball in on the penetration out of transition. She'll look to score there if the defense doesn't pick her up. Waits, a 5'8 freshman from Conyers, Georgia, putting the Lady Bulldogs back in the lead at 39-38. 14 minutes remaining. The Harrington cross court underneath the Dixon. She scores. It'll count. And she's fouled. But Gina Dixon, she has great hands. And when they pass the ball inside to her, it's almost automatic if she can get a piece of the ball here. She hangs on to it, takes the ball up. Big three-point play for them. The foul will be on Edwards, and that is three on Teresa Edwards. So the Lady Bulldogs now with three of their top players in foul trouble. Lisa O'Connor, Katrina McLean, and Edwards all with three personals. And Dixon tried to finish off the three-point play. O'Connor grabs the rebound off the window. Georgia moving it down quickly. Tracy Waits with the jumper. Knocked out of bounds. It'll belong to Georgia. No, I think they've changed that. I think what happened there was just an incorrect signal. I think the ball went to Old Dominion. I think that was a good call. So ODU will bring it up. And again, Georgia applying the defense. Waits very quick in that backcourt. Staying close to Marie Christian. Georgia's gone back to the man-to-man -man defense. Donna Harrington. Pass picked off by Janet Harris. Dixon over to try to hit her off, but Dixon had to be careful with three personal fouls. Now here's ODU coming back on the other end, and Christian has it spin off on the rim. Claxton gets the rebound. Loose ball, and the foul is going to be on Harris, or rather on Edwards, and that is going to be four. All right, I think this could be a big factor in this game. Teresa Edwards is so valuable. She's the quarterback of this Georgia club. Harris down at the other end, and the Dixon, you see, had to be very, very careful. Well, we're, we're off to the races here. I thought Janet Harris had a great steal, good anticipation. We come down for the break, but you have to credit Old Dominion. They step out of bounds. They go along to Marie Christian. We're off and running. Andy Landers has to pull Teresa Edwards from the lineup. The young lady who normally plays the full 40 minutes. But with four personal fouls, she's pulled with 13 minutes and 23 seconds left to play in the game. And Georgia leading by one, 41 to 40. ODU trying to recapture the lead. Marie Christian working the outside in the corner to Harrington. Oh. Nice pass underneath to Claxton. Great offensive execution there. I think Old Dominion's doing a good job right now of using the clock and getting high percentage shots. 
ODU back out in front, 42 to 41. They've been up by as much as three. Georgia, the first half, was ahead by nine, as we've seen several significant momentum shifts. Tracy Waits in the corner looking inside to Harris. O'Connor takes the shot from outside and knocks it down. Well, I think O'Connor's the glue of this club, too, and I don't think she's going to let this Georgia team quit. She will keep them up and going. Well, Landers will tell you that. He says this young lady's the hub around which uh, Georgia revolves. Pass to Dawn Cullen. Can't get the basket. The follow is up by Dixon. Great offensive board work. That's what Old Dominion has been doing all afternoon. 14 points now for Medina Dixon, and it's ODU with a one-point advantage as we approach the 12-minute mark. At stake, the Women's National Championship. First time ever in the final game for these two teams. In the NCAA tournament, Tracy Waits hitting for Georgia. That is 10 points for Waits coming off the bench. She's averaged 6.5 this year. She's almost doubled her average. She has played well. You see Georgia here going back to their 1-3-1 zone. Claxton with the miss. Ball loose on the floor. Dawn Cullen comes up with it. Next one is good by Dixon. They're killing them on the boards. They are doing an excellent job on the offensive boards. It's ODU by one, 46-45. Harris out to O'Connor. Tracy Waits trying to penetrate. Off to Amanda Abrams, who has replaced Teresa Harris. O'Connor with the miss. Again, a big rebound by Medina Dixon. Big rebound. I think the Old Dominion right now, they're really sagging their defense, forcing Georgia to take the outside shot. ODU leads it by one. Ten minutes, 55 seconds left to play in the game. Tracy Claxton inside with the turnaround, but again, offensive rebound to ODU. The shot missed by Harrington, and finally O'Connor comes down with one for Georgia. Here's Waits tossing it down to Harris, and Harris with the layup. Again, Georgia has a good quick outlet. They like to look to go long. They definitely want to get the quick basket there. Well, you can beat those offensive boards hard, but you better have somebody back if you don't get it. Everybody goes to the hole. There's nobody to defend on those easy layups. Georgia in a 2-3. I'd look for Old Dominion to be patient here and taking the ball, working it so they can get the good high percentage shot. Dixon missing from 10 feet, but the follow is good by Claxton. Another second chance basket. She's had a lot of those this afternoon, Frank. Claxton with 13 points. Dixon has 14. And the rebounding in this half, as you can see by the stats, the edge clearly belongs to Old Dominion, as it did in the first half. Waits puts up a 20-footer, and yet another rebound for Claxton. Marion Stanley on the far side saying, let's slow it down just a little bit now, get it under control. Well, they're facing the Georgia's 2-3 zone here, and I think what they like to do is overload the zone. They like to penetrate. They're a good penetrating club. Dixon with the miss. The rebound comes down to McLean. She's double-teamed, and she's fouled. Don Cullen got a little heated up and probably got very close to a technical foul for protesting that call. Foul is on Claxton. That's her third. We've got a timeout with 9.24 left to play. Outside shot. We've also seen Old Dominion become more patient and more deliberate in the half-court offense. Georgia, we've seen some quick outlets, some transition baskets. We've seen them adjust their zones. They play man-to-man, 1-3-1, 2-3. One, three, one, three. I'd like to see what happens after this timeout. Old Dominion uh, with a big edge in the rebounds in the second half. They have out-rebounded Georgia 17-6 and murdered them early on the offensive boards. There have been seven offensive rebounds, and Old Dominion has claimed six. Georgia down by one. Lady Bulldogs in the front court. Inside, Janet Harris with the turnaround, and Dixon scrapes it off the window. So it's 18 to six, so they've out-rebounded Georgia in the second half, three to one. Well, that's a big difference in this basketball game, and I think the offensive rebounding of Old Dominion has been outstanding. Dixon penetrating the lane. The shot is short. Tipped up once by Cullen. Second time. Basket goes by Adrian Goodson. And there it is, Frank. They're on the offensive boards. They're scoring all afternoon off of the second and third shot attempt. 
Three-point lead for the Lady Monarchs. Cross-court pass from O'Connor going to Tracy Waits, who puts it up. Can't get it to fall. Harris there for the rebound, and is fouled as she puts up the shot. That foul will be on uh, Marie Christian, which will be her second. Andy Lander's got to be a little concerned right now. There's some familiar faces to followers of women's college basketball. Cheryl Miller, the All-American from USC in the center, and flanked by a couple of members of your Olympic team, Pam and Paula McGee. Well, she'll be turning the range of this national championship over to one of these two teams, but Cheryl Miller is a great basketball player, one of the best we've seen in the women's game. I understand when her team, USC, was eliminated. It's the first time in any level of competition since she was a youngster that her season ended without her team winning a championship. That's Great right. school, very, high school, college. Very few people can say that, Frank. Harris getting one out of two from the free throw line. Christian having a little trouble from Waits. Inside, Harrington forcing the shot and is fouled. Georgia came out a lot more aggressive in their man-to-man -man defense that time, almost forcing that turnover. That foul, let's see if it's on Lisa O'Connor. That'd be her fourth if it is, but let's see. It's on Teresa Edwards, which would make it her fifth personal, personal foul. That's, that's a big, big loss to this Georgia team. Teresa Edwards has fouled out of this game. She came back in during that timeout, and, of course, ODU fans are uh, ecstatic as one of the two Georgia All-Americans has fouled out. I never saw her come back into the game. Take a look at it. She did. She got her with the right hand coming across on that drive. That is really a costly foul for this Georgia basketball. Amanda Abrams comes back in. The only lady on this court who has an Olympic gold medal, played on Fathead Summits. U.S. Olympic team in Los Angeles. She winds up with 11 points and three assists. One of the ODU freshmen on the line, Donna Harrington, six feet two inches tall from Lanham, Maryland. Harrington's been a real surprise for them. They thought she'd be a good player, but uh, she was all tournament in the Eastern region. 24 points in the two games there is Dixon with the rebound again. Talk about great hands and explosiveness. Medina Dixon came up with the ball there. Great rebound. Collin tried to lob the pass inside. We got a whistle and a foul call as Goodson took the pass and uh, was fouled by Georgia. That's going to be on McLean, and that's four on her. Well, I think you see Old Dominion passing high to low, which they like to do, and drawing the foul inside. On the free throw line, 5'11 freshman Adrian Goodson from Bayonne, New Jersey. She scored six points, all from the field. And she'll get one more. Fifty one to forty eight. She makes this it'll give ODU their biggest lead of the game at four. Doesn't go a scrap for the rebound and we get an elbow foul called underneath from uh, Harrington of Old Dominion. That's definitely a physical play on that on that possession there. You have to say Old Dominion's crashing the boards hard. It is physical inside. Georgia in big foul trouble. They're ready over the limit with seven. They've lost Teresa Edwards. They've got uh, O'Connor with three fouls. They've got McLean with four fouls as Tracy Claxton comes back into the game. Now what does uh, Andy Landers do to protect his, uh, his foul-prone Lady Bulldogs? Well, I think you, you may have to see him drop into a 2-3 zone, maybe take a little bit less pressure off the basketball. Tracy Waits on top to Lisa O'Connor. A cool customer, 6'1 junior. A great competitor, Frank, and I think you'll see her come to play here in the last seven and a half minutes. 51 to 50, ODU with the lead. National championship at stake. Marie Christian drives the lane. Claxton with another rebound. You can see why they call her the chairman of the boards. 
Old Dominion taking the basketball at Georgia. I think the foul trouble that could work in Old Dominion's behalf. That's 15 points for Claxton. O'Connor gets her second straight. A very slow first half. In fact, she was held scoreless in the first half. She's come up with eight points in the second half of play. A steal by Georgia. We got a whistle and a foul called on Christian of Old Dominion trying to get it back. A lot of quickness here. Well, Georgia has great quickness at the guard positions. As you see Tracy Wakes come up with a steal. That is the fourth team foul on ODU. As we mentioned, Georgia is already over the limit. Seven minutes and two seconds remaining in this national championship game. It's Old Dominion 53, Georgia 52. It's been back and forth here in the second half. Harris taking the pass inside from O'Connor, missing the easy shot, but McLean is there for the follow. And now it's Georgia by one. Timeout called by Old Dominion coming up next, the Tournament Players Championship from Ponte Vedra, Florida. After the Georgia's as close as they are in this game. And in fact, they actually lead it by one. Old Dominion and the White controlling the basketball. 30-second clock in operation. It's down to 10 seconds. Georgia, big foul trouble right now with one of their All-Americans, Teresa Edwards, already on the bench having fouled out. Dawn Cullen comes up with a clutch basket. Well, interesting here, you see Old Dominion after that timeout, they've gone to their 1-3-1 one, one half-court defense. They're extending their defense. Really looking right here, I think, to put pressure on Georgia. Teresa Edwards on the bench uh, looking on, a very frustrated young lady after fouling out, scoring 11 points, can watch only helplessly right now as Georgia tries to hang in there without her and bring home this national championship to Athens. ODU by one, 55-54. Amanda Abrams trying to get loose for the shot to O'Connor. O'Connor had a notion. Sent it off to Waits. Short got the rebound. What a play. Great play by this freshman. She took the shot, followed it up. Just a great effort on her part. Tracy Waits with the big basket, putting Georgia back out in front. 56-55 with five and a half minutes to go. Here's Claxton with the turnaround. Short of the mark. Katrina McClain coming over the back of Dawn Cullen and uh, some of the fans didn't particularly care for that call that is uh, that is five on McLean and Andy Landers is really unhappy with that call that might have been a little ticky well I tell you that that was a big call I think we'd have to look at it again but I think Katrina McLean right there went up and, and did an excellent job of going up and bringing the basketball straight down take a look at it again the missed shot, and then McLean, and they say McLean bumped Don Cullen, and the Don was in the middle of that, too. Well, I, I tell you, I think that was just uh, some of that incidental contact, but that, that's a tough, tough call to make and certainly a tough break for Georgia. So Georgia has a second player foul out, and Katrina McLean and six foot seven inch Barbara Boots comes in to replace her. McLean who's averaged 13.9 left after scoring only eight points and of course she comes off a 25 point effort the other night of the semifinal against Western Kentucky we get a whistle as looked like both sides were in the lane before Colin took the free throw attempt Teresa Edwards is out and so is Katrina McLean and if Georgia wins this national championship they'll have to do it without two of their biggest guns. We had a double violation. Consequently, we now have a jump ball. Cullen comes up with it, and Dawn Cullen comes up with her second big basket in clutch time. She has back-to-back -back baskets made a big difference here. Oh, she is pumped up as always, 57-56. Old Dominion with the lead. Old Dominion changing their defense again here, Frank. They've gone man-to-man -man against Georgia. Abrams, who handles the ball well, gets it cross court. Waits, the freshman, puts it up, hits it! Tracy Waits, seven baskets for 14 points. Coming off the bench, and she has certainly done her part. She has. She's playing with a lot of confidence. She's really kept Georgia in this game. 
Georgia with four timeouts. Old Dominion with two as we hit the five minute mark. The Lady Bulldogs up by run 58-57. ODU with the ball. We got a kick. And it will revert to Old Dominion. As Marie Christian comes back into the game. Here's Marianne Stanley. Marianne has the top winning percentage of all college basketball coaches. She's won 87% of her games in eight years. Pass inside to Dixon. Great left-handed shot. It counts, and she is fouled. Medina Dixon with her ninth basket of the game. Tremendous athletic ability. Great quickness as she takes the ball inside. Foul is going to be on Boots, and that is her third foul. And Medina Dixon is on the free throw line. She comes from a family of three girls and 11 boys. Not many families can have their own full court game and have reserves left over, but she can. I'd say those brothers had a lot to do with teaching this young lady how to play ball. Again, Old Dominion on the offensive boards. Claxton getting that big rebound. And the Lady Monarchs try to set it up again. They lead it by one with four minutes and 30 seconds to go. Here's Dixon. Nice pass to Cullen. Fails to fall, and Tracy Waits comes up with the rebound for Georgia. The freshman flying down the floor, loses control, and is fouled by Christian. Three personal fouls on Marie Christian, the point guard from Old Dominion. Abrams just trying to stay out of her way, it looks like. That's huh? hard to do. Tracy Waits has great speed down the floor. I think Georgia now has really picked up their tempo on defense. They're overplaying passing lanes. They're trying to put a lot of pressure on the basketball. Waits on the line with two. Needs one to tie, and she does that rather coolly. Boy, she really seems to have composure for a freshman, doesn't she? Great composure. It's hard to believe that she's out there playing the way she's playing as a freshman. Or she was no secret coming out of high school, was she? No, she was one of the most highly sought-after basketball players at guard in the country. A great high school player. Tied at 59. Dixon inside. Dawn Cullum missing the easy shot. But Claxton is there for yet another follow. 17 for Claxton. 18 for Dixon. And ODU with a two-point advantage with four minutes left. Waits going to Lisa O'Connor. Lisa's pass is stolen. Waits gets it back, tried to pass it to Boots, and it's picked off by Claxton. Speaking of Lisa O'Connor, she celebrates her 21st birthday tomorrow and would like to celebrate it as a national champion. ODU with the ball and a two-point lead, driving the baseline as Goodson short of the shot. Claxton's shot is blocked by Boots. Old Dominion hanging on. Offensive foul charging on Christian. That's four. Marie Christian guilty of the foul, and Georgia will get the ball and a chance to tie. Well, Marie has she is a good penetrator. She has great baseline penetration here. Barbara Boots. I tell you what, that's a big defensive play for six seven to come across the lane and take the charge as she did there. ODU 61, Georgia 59, back in just a moment. Once again, coming up next, the Tournament Players Championship from Ponte Vedra, Florida. Last we heard, Calvin Pete had a one-shot advantage. That's one of the big tournaments of the year. Janet Harris and Dixon takes it away from her. A uh, big turnover there, and I, I, I saw that what, what we saw there was a 1-3-1 one -one zone. Coach Stanley elected to change defenses after the timeout. Again, keep in mind, you've got the 30-second clock, so there'll be no stall game here. Christian spots the open shot and gets the good roll. Marie Christian with a big basket. And it looks like Medina Dixon was uh, shaken up for Old Dominion as we get a timeout with two minutes and 44 seconds to go. The uh, All-American, just a brief official time out here, give her an opportunity to get the cobwebs out. Ran into her own player, in this case, Marie Christian. But she seems to be all right. They call her the Ice Woman. 
Well, maybe she isn't all right. Gonna have to come out for a little while. You see Old Dominion switching their defense again. Here they go with their man to man and match up. Tracy Waits has it stolen by Christian. Down it comes to Goodson, and she is fouled by Boots. Boots going hard into the standard, trying to block that shot. Good quick hands here as Marie Christian comes up with a the steal. They look to run. Look at Barbara Boots, six seven. Great individual effort to get down the floor and just get catch up with the ball. That is four personal fouls on Barbara Boots as Georgia's foul troubles continue. On the free throw line, Adrian Goodson, four point lead for ODU. Should be their biggest lead of the game. And we'll get a timeout called by Georgia. So ODU, 64, Georgia, 59 with 227 left in the game. What we'll do is put them at the free throw line. No problem there, however, for freshman Adrian Goodson, who is three out of three from the line. ODU with its biggest lead of the game at 6.65 to 59. Marianne Stanley coming with a 1-3-1 defense, extending it beyond half court. Putting a lot of pressure on the basketball. Lisa O'Connor gets it to Abrams. Waits in the corner. Abrams back to O'Connor. 17-footer is short. Waits saves it. O'Connor gets it back. And we get a whistle. Like Waits may have been fouled. Foul is on number 25, Donna Harrington. Her third person. Foul will be on Harrington of ODU. Donna Harrington takes up her third personal foul. And here comes Dixon back into the game for the Lady Monarchs. So their All-American is back. Again, coming up next, the Tournament Players Championship. Live from Ponte Vedra, Florida. Classic course, tournament that always has the best field of the year. And we'll have the exciting finish for you right here on CBS immediately following the conclusion of this women's national championship game. Lisa O'Connor, nine points all in the second half. She makes this, her team trails by four with two minutes left. Pressure by Georgia in the backcourt. Marie Christian trying to get it across the center line. Adrian Goodson in the corner, guarded close by Abrams. Goodson, pass inside, Claxton misses the point blank shot. And the rebound to Georgia. Waits is double teamed in the corner, gets it down to Abrams. Here come the Lady Bulldogs, trailing by four. O'Connor into Harris, the All-American shot is short of the mark. And the rebound goes to ODU. Claxton with yet another board, down to Goodson. Goodson pulling up, sends it back outside to Claxton, and they'll slow it down. Now, Old Dominion wanting to use that 30-second clock to their advantage in this possession. 30-second clock with 13 seconds left. And Marie Christian will go to the line. That was the third foul of the game on Janet Harris. Harris has 13 points. And, of course, these ladies, some of them, like Janet Harris, playing their last college game. Harris will go out with a great career, three times an All-American. Timeout call by Georgia with a minute and 11 seconds to go. And ODU is up by four. Player, she's proven that here tonight. I think she, she's just done a great job on the boards. She averages 11 rebounds per game. She has 15 in this game, including nine offensive boards. We go back to play with a minute and 11 seconds remaining, and Marie Christian on the free throw line for ODU. Adina Dixon also winding up her career. Would love to do it with a national championship. Hey, Marie Christian looking at the uh, stats here is only a 62% free throw shooter. I think Marie Christian has had an outstanding afternoon. I think she's done an excellent job of controlling the tempo and taking the penetration, taking the basketball at Georgia's defense. 67-61. Old Dominion with a minute and five seconds. Left 
in the season. Lisa O'Connor, Georgia needs to score fast. And they throw it away. Claxton comes up with the turnover and waits immediately, fouls Christian, who will go right back to the line. Well, Old Dominion going with their 1-3-1 one, one there, trying to extend their defense, put a lot of pressure on the ball. O'Connor. By SMU. 68-61, seven-point lead. Waits. Great. Crashes the lane. Great job of bringing the ball quickly down the floor. That's something that I think she can do. She's very... Found action coming up as soon as the basketball game is over. Blaze trying to inbound it, gets it down to Dixon. Down court it comes to Dawn Cullen, and Cullen bounced it out of bounds. Oh, it looks like they had an easy two there. Well, they did. I, I think Medina got a little anxious on the pass. The pass was delivered a little bit low. That's what Georgia wants. They want the turnover. So they can get to the other end and score as quickly as possible. Now it's Old Dominion going to call time. With 39 seconds left on the clock, they lead by five, and Marion Stanley going to try to settle her troops down for Old EU and is immediately fouled by O'Connor. Well, I thought that, that foul was a good foul. They wanted to foul as quickly as possible. Put the pressure on Old Dominion as far as putting them at the free throw line. Again, the Tournament Players Championship final round coverage coming up just moments away. Immediately after the conclusion of the Women's National Championship game. All the big names in golf are on hand in one of the most scenic courses in the world. The Tournament Players Club down in Ponte Vedra, Florida. Dixon missing. Harris kicks it out down to Waits. Fine pass. And the layup is missed. Abrams missed the layup. Old, Dix, or Old Dominion coming back the other way, and Marie Christian does not miss fire. Well, that, went, that had to be a big miss for Georgia and a good outlet on the part of the Old Dominion team. Two seconds left to play in the game. Christian fouls, but the celebration has begun on the Old Dominion bench as they lead by seven with just two seconds left to play. And Marion Stanley looking forward now to claiming her first NCAA National Championship. Marie Christian, you have to give that young lady a lot of credit for what's happened this afternoon. She played like a veteran player. And you have to remember, she hasn't been in a National Championship game before. Alphelia Jenkins checks into the lineup as Cullen comes out. Tracy Waits on the free throw line. Talking about playing a game. This young lady has 17 points coming off the bench. She'll wind up being the leading scorer for the University of Georgia Lady Bulldogs. But all for naught for Georgia today. Andy Landers bringing his team to the final four for the second time in four years. They were the preseason favorites, and it's beginning to set in that they will not be the national champions. Time has run out. The buzzer never sounded, but the clock registered double zeros, and Old Dominion is our national champion as the Lady Monarchs defeat the Lady Bulldogs 70 to 65. 70 to 65, the final score. Hail to the victors, the Lady Monarchs from Old Dominion. There they are, national champions, all of them. Doing a great job for their team, winning the East Region and coming to Austin and winning the national championship, beating Georgia by a score of 70 to 65. That's our final score here at the Frank Irwin Center in Austin, Texas. Frank Lieber for Pat Summit from the Superdrum in Austin, Texas. NCAA basketball has been a presentation of CBS Sports.